Good morning and welcome to the Battles Within. We're continuing our study in Hebrews chapter 10 and we're going to begin with verse 11 and we're going to read through verse number, I think we're going to read through verse 16. Let's see where we can get, okay? It says, uh, and every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstools. For, for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, for after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. This again, remember we're continuing our discussion of, the, of Jesus being the perfect priest. Not only was he the perfect priest, he was also the perfect sacrifice. The Holy of Holies that was created during Moses' time was a symbol of what was to come. It was never the real Holy of Holies, ever. It was symbolic of that. Uh, the real Holy of Holies is in heaven. And this is where there's only, it was only entered in one time. And it can only be entered one time by the man, Jesus Christ. And he entered into the, to the Holy of Holies and took his own blood and poured it on the altar, removing all man's, removing mankind's sins forever. And then after he finished, it says he went and sat down on the right hand of the Father. He didn't do it but one time. So as we continue on, it says here in every, he says here in verse 11, he says, And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices. Human priests offer sacrifices over and over and over again, the same offering over and over again, it says, which can never take away sins. See, those offerings that were done, those bulls and goats, as you said before, could not save anybody. It was symbolic of what was to come. Verse 12 said, But this man, talking about Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, forever sat down on the right hand of God. This sacrifice that he offered was his precious blood, his perfect sinless blood. He offered that. And then when he finished, he did it one time. And when he finished, it says he sat down on the right hand of God. Verse 13. From henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstools. In other words, Jesus finished. The battle had been won. We we're now waiting for the enemies to be his footstool. Eventually, the enemies would be defeated. One by one by one, they'd be knocked out. And Jesus had finished his work, sat down. Why did Jesus sit down? Because Jesus no longer had to fight the battle. The battle now, the Holy Spirit is fighting the battle. Jesus said, I must leave that the Comforter come. If the Comforter come, he can teach you all things. See, the Comforter, the Holy Spirit lives in us. Not Jesus, the Holy Spirit lives in us. Now you say, well, Jesus, and Jesus the Holy Spirit? Yes, there are three of one. But the Holy Spirit is the entity that God sent. God is here, the Holy Spirit, to help us. He says here that 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 from henceforth, from henceforth, that means from now on, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Verse 14. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified, them that are set apart. So those of us who have been set apart, he forever sanctified us. Forever, he forever um, perfected us. Thereof the Holy Ghost for seen also is a witness to us, for after that he hath said before. So the Holy Spirit said, what did the Holy Spirit say? This is the covenant agreement that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. The Holy Spirit said he will do that. See, we're saved through the great through, we're saved by the by the blood of Jesus Christ as an offering to God the Father. And we're saved by the Holy Spirit coming into our lives. The Holy Spirit said, I will write it in their hearts. I will write it into their minds. The Holy Spirit is what leads us. All I have time for today, so let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity we have. We can study your word. What a powerful word. But I pray, Lord, now that you'd help us to be able to apply it to our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit who lives within inside of us that lifts us up. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time. 
your attention today.